today at such an important occasion. I have just a few remarks to, uh, to make with respect particularly to the data, the information concerning agriculture in Africa, particularly Southern Africa and a little bit touching on the situation in Namibia. Africa has a total population of 1.4 billion people, two thirds of whom are employed in the agriculture sector. 23% of Africa's gross domestic product is derived, derived from agriculture. The sector could increase, according to some of the studies that have been undertaken, could increase its contribution to global cereals, horticulture, and livestock products by at least 20%. In addition, yields can be doubled and in some instances trebled. While a lot of arable land remains unutilized, this will contribute um, only modestly, modestly to the projected growth. It is actually expected that the bulk of this growth should come from increased productivity within existing land. So what is the challenge? What are the key challenges that Africa faces right now? Key amongst the challenges within Africa is the trend of increasing food insecurity and undernutrition within the continent and particularly within sub-Saharan Africa and also particularly within um, Southern Africa as well as Namibia. And this is as a result of climatic shocks, uh, inadequate skills and technologies that are being practiced as well as some socio-economic impacts that relate to how the agriculture sector is governed, but also, you know, the condition of the people that are practicing agriculture, the majority, poverty levels, etc., among others. And in addition, we should also take into account um, COVID-19 impacts on the agriculture sector, which I will not go to into in any detail right now, but we know that the sector has been affected by the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So from what you can see, the sector has opportunities. And, and room to grow. My apologies, I think sir, there was some, um, some background interference. There is room to grow in the sense of um, land area usage. As I indicated, there's a lot of land that could be put to agricultural use. But more importantly, even within the existing uh, arable land that is under production, as well as under pastures, there is need, there is lots of room to improve the yields due to the, um, uh, in part, uh, applying innovative technologies, as well as application of smart and precision farming, the use of improved inputs, uh, infrastructure um, uh, investment, and so on. In addition, the continent has a very youthful population by and large. So these uh, people with energy that can actually uh, be engaged in the sector. And then the shocks and challenges that I mentioned earlier, they can actually provide the impetus for growth because tough times actually force people to think innovatively and to think differently to improve their situation. So we should embrace the shocks and the crises that we've been facing. And then of course, there is abundance of uh, natural resources. We have the land, as I mentioned, and we have people. There's a high population growth and water is available, to be honest, if we harnessed it and utilized it optimally. And of course, there are opportunities presented by um, opening up, for, up of trade across uh, the continent of Africa. So what is needed, in my view, is an aggressive and, aggressive and purposeful investment in improved infrastructure, road networks, marketing infrastructure, access to agricultural inputs, as well as irrigation facilities and storage facilities, etc. Also, inputs of quality should also be available, seeds, fertilizers, veterinary supplies, etc., as well as improved management 
and also improving the policy environment as well as the trade flows. FAO is convinced of the importance of harnessing the passion, innovation and entrepreneurial spirit and action of young people on the continent so that they are in charge of their destinies. After all, the future and indeed the present is youth. FAO is honored, as I mentioned earlier, to be part of this launch and graduation ceremony. It is testimony to the fact that agricultural development needs all parties to play their part. The public sector, the private sector, academia, farmers union and development partners all need to come together to ensure that we are playing our part and contributing. I wish to uh, congratulate AGRA on the launch of the Agricultural Academy, as well as also to celebrate the people that are graduating today with a sincere wish and hope to see you all making a difference to the agricultural landscape of the land of the brave. Thank you very much for your attention.